What is going on, gang of Lang? We are back with another tier list, and this time around, I'm going to be doing a pie tier list. And you all can see that it isn't just the sweet pastry type of pie, because we got pizza pie and even meat pies in here. This list honestly just looks like heaven on a plate for a man such as myself. We're missing the best type of pie, though, and that's the cream pie. Joe, we all know that's an S tier, so what's the point in even asking? Plus, we do have a cream pie, and it's the banana one. I know, but I just love the cream pies without the banana. We're talking about the food, right? Joe might be, but I'm not. But anyways, up first, we got an Oreo pie. And God, this just sounds so damn delicious. I've never had an Oreo pie, but I would be doing the world a disservice to put this anything lower than an S tier. If you've never had it, how would you know it belongs in S tier? Dude, it's an Oreo pie. No one needs to know what it tastes like to know that it would be a flavor bomb just orgasming on my tongue. But anyways, let's talk about our next entry, which is a cranberry pie. And while I do enjoy the tart flavors of the cranberry, I just feel like it's doing a bit too much for my liking, and I have to give this a B tier. Now, let me talk about this next one, because I know it'll piss off Barack and a bunch of the other dumb pizza enthusiasts. And that is the fact that I am placing Chicago's famous deep dish pizza into gutters and giving it a C tier. Well, that's a super wrong opinion, but I thought you were going to place it into D tier. Well, it's still pizza, so of course I'll still like it, but deep dish pizza is not the superior way of eating pizza. Listen, Donald, as an expert hater, I totally agree with this, and I'd even place it lower. It's a glorified lasagna with extra steps, and the fact you have to serve it with a spatula further solidifies the fact that it's not pizza and shouldn't be considered such a holy relic of American cuisine. Joe, there is so much wrong with that statement because deep dish does not deserve the amount of disrespect that it's getting. Nah, I smell what Joe is cooking right now, and as a fellow hater, I can tell you that Joe was on point. Plus, what the hell do you know about good stuff, Barack? Everyone in the comments of the healthy food tier list is absolutely stir-frying you. Don't remind me. I, I get really sad thinking about it. Good. You should honestly feel terrible you even made that list in the first place. But yeah, then after we got some pear pie, and this is a pretty nice one, too. But I think only a B tier is an accurate ranking for this because I am just twerking for the next entry, because I am giving pumpkin pie an absolute A tier. I know some people hate pumpkin, but damn, I absolutely love how it's a seasonal thing, and it just tastes great. I know someone like Joe over here probably hates the hell out of it. Whoa, 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 I may be a hater, but I absolutely love the heck out of pumpkin-flavored things. Color me surprised, because I was kind of expecting a Joe rant about why pumpkin is the worst thing to ever exist. I am quite pleasantly surprised, and I want you to know, Joe, that I will make you happy with this next rating because a cherry pie made with real cherries gets an A tier from the Don. I like that you specified it being real cherries. This pleases the Joe dog. Of course, it would you special, special person. Anyways, then after we got cheesecake, and this is quite obviously an S tier, longtime listeners know that I would absolutely throw it back for some good ass cheesecake. Then after we got blackberry pie, and this goes into B tier for me because it is still good, but I just don't jive with blackberries all that much. Ooh, but looking at this next entry reinvigorates me with health because I love me some Boston cream pies. I think I have to give this an A tier. You see, you just can't say reinvigorated with health and then proceed to follow it up with ranking a Boston cream pie in A tier. That just doesn't seem like the right response to that. Barack, no one's saying it is. Can you stop self-inserting Michelle's opinions into this list? But yeah, we still got deliciousness coming up next because I then have the blueberry pie going straight into S tier. This is like the tried and true pie type that everyone thinks of. And honestly, it was between this and the cherry pie, and I chose to put blueberry pie up in S. Call it a personal bias because that's exactly what it is. Up next, though, I have a ranking that will probably make Joe super depressed and that is the banana cream pie, because this is going straight into C tier. It's super mid, and the fact that it's so airy and how it's all cream also pisses me off. Like, I get it, it's supposed to be a cream pie, but man, it's just too airy and not filling, and it's fine for like a super, super small snack. But if I want a damn pie, I'm not getting the banana cream pie. I hear you and I respect your opinion. You're naturally a larger man, so I can see why the cream pie wouldn't be enough to fill a man as fat as yourself. We'd need a whole damn feeding station just to satiate you. Joe, I know when to end my damn bulk, and it isn't time yet. I get you just butt hurt, and that's fine, because I really don't care. Anyways, after that, we got French silk pie and peach pie both going into B tier. I really can't find a lot of bad things to say about these, because they're so damn delicious. But 
A man with principles has to draw the line somewhere. And I'm choosing to put these two lower because I just prefer the others in the list. Oh, so you're okay with drawing lines, but when I do it, it's a goddamn war crime. Dude, you were drawing a fictional line on a healthy foods tier list, and you were complaining about the flavor of whole wheat bread. And we all know that everything there just tastes like ass. Unlike this delicious pie list, but I will admit we do have some stinkers because I have pecan pie going into C tier. And since I have to give something a D tier, I'm going to give sweet potato pie a D tier. Something had to go there or else people would be calling me fat as hell in the comments. I think they're going to do that either way. No, the people in the comments love the Don, so they respect the fact that I am still doing my dirty bulk. Anyways, more importantly, I have to absolutely suck off these next two entries because I want to give a round of applause and two S tiers to the lemon meringue pie and the New York style pizza, which is also known as the superior way to consume pizza. I know many of you are probably going to talk about deep dish or even Detroit style pizza, and I want all you deep dish suckers to just go lick some boots because that shit sucks ass, and I refuse to hear you all out. Now you Detroit style pizza lovers get more respect from me, but I still give the trophy to New York style pizza. The absolute disrespect that Chicago deep dish pizza is getting won't be tolerated in the comments, I swear to you. Trust me when I say that they will more than certainly allow it because deep dish isn't all that it's cracked up to be Barack. As a New Yorker, I'm not biased in any way when I say that the New York style pizza is just quite plainly the better way to consume pizza pie. But this isn't a pizza debate, so hop off my jock and just sit with the list in front of you because we're approaching the end and I want to finish up this list. Anyways, after that we have empanadas and apple pie both going into A tier. Now empanadas are these delicious little meat pockets that the Don absolutely adores. But is it fair to call them a pie? Are they meat pies or are they meat pockets? What is a pie really? I don't know, but it belongs high up there. After that, we got chocolate cream pie and you all may get upset at me with this, but I have this going into S tier. Something about the cream being chocolate just makes it all meld together perfectly. And I just love chocolate pudding. So of course I'm gonna like this a ton. Oh, I get it. You like to tango with some color. You're visiting Brown Town, aren't you? What the hell, Joe? Some may say that I like my cream to be colored at times. But yeah, moving on, we got meat pies from Africa. And I don't exactly know the difference between these things and empanadas, but I'll also give it an A tier because it looks delicious as hell. However, I will say that we got an absolute banger up next that beats both meat pies in my opinion. And this might be the American in me, but I gotta give chicken pot pie an absolute S tier. It is one of my absolute favorite type of pies, and it just has such a great mix of flavors that any sane human being would give this a high rating. I don't know if being sane is a criteria, but I will admit that some chicken pot pie do indeed bang, Mr. Donald. Joe, you're supposed to use my last name, dumbass. God, but yeah. Then after that amazingness, we got Detroit-style pizza, and I know you're all waiting on my rating because I trashed on Deep Dish so much, but Detroit lovers fret not because I will be giving this a B tier. It was close to an A tier, but then I thought it was getting too close, the, the true king of New York, which is the pizza. Then after I got both key lime pie and strawberry rhubarb both going into A tier, key lime pie was really, really close to getting an S tier for me, but I held back and still gave it a decent bit of respect. As for the strawberry rhubarb pie, well, I don't like the rhubarb element to it and would much rather have just the strawberry, but it's still pretty great. The hell is a rhubarb? Oh, Joe, you'll love it. You see, it's a vegetable. And... Oh, that is gross, and I can't believe that goes in a pie. What kind of sick and twisted person would put that into a pie and think that it's okay? Well, Joe, as much as the thought of veggies disgusts me, the sweet potato pie is also a veggie, so, like, I don't know how that would work in your mind, but the strawberry rhubarb is really good. And if you don't like rhubarb, at least it has strawberries inside of it to save it. Anyways, after that, I got shepherd's pie going into B tier. And while this is delicious, I just can't place it too high because my precious chicken pot pie must have some distance from it. Plus, I actually do think I like empanadas more because you can easily stuff them in your pockets and have them for mobility purposes. Mobility purposes? Who the hell is moving pies in their pockets? Uh, me, like real G's, we move in silence and don't announce to the world that we are carrying meat pockets. I mean, for God's sake, Barack, it's in the name. Joe once again is spitting facts, but let me go ahead and end off this list on a very positive note, because I will happily be placing strawberry pies straight into S tier. It's only a shame that I couldn't rate cream pies. Uh, but you did twice at that. But not the good type of cream pies that I like. Uh, like strawberry? Sure, Joe, just like strawberry.